The Iolus blue, Iolana Iolus, is the largest of the blues of Europe. In France, it is completely dependent on the bladder senna for egg laying and as a food source, not only for the caterpillar, but also the butterfly itself. This beautiful butterfly with an average wingspan of four centimeters is very localized in small populations. It flies in a single generation from the end of April to June. A female hatches on a beautiful morning around 11 o'clock. She walks over to a stone and spreads her wings. Once her wings are working, the female flies away from the host plant and rests. Here in the back country of the Var, where it is stonier and more arid, a new female has no chance of mating thanks to the bad spell of weather. And as soon as the sun comes out, she displays herself amongst the foliage, wings open. When a patrolling male approaches, she's the one that flies off to meet him. Together, they fly in circles above the foliage. Then the two butterflies finally rest on a bush where they mate. After an hour, the butterflies separate. The female is the first to fly off and drinks for the first time. Already the female is ready to lay her eggs. Once satisfied, she begins to place her eggs one by one in the calyx of the flowers. After about 10 days, an egg hatches. On hatching, this tiny Iolus blue caterpillar meets an opponent from the moth species of the family Tortricidae, Graphalita nebritana. The caterpillar goes in search of a spot where it can penetrate the pod. It moves towards the middle, next to the vein, and it's at this point where the seeds form. Finally, it reaches the seeds, which are its only food source. One could easily believe that the caterpillars are well protected in the pods, and yet specific parasites detect the caterpillars' whereabouts in these hiding places. The caterpillar rests just before molting. Then the next day it begins. Here the process is accelerated. If a pod is severely attacked by grasshoppers and the Iolus blue caterpillar has survived, it is impossible for it to repair such a large breach through which predators could enter. Moreover, it is easier for the ants to find them an ant, Lassius niger, inspects the pod and finds an Iolus blue caterpillar feeding inside a damaged pod. The ants go crazy for the drop of sweet secretion that comes from the caterpillar's melliferous gland. Although the bladder senna is originally from this region, it is unfortunately becoming more and more uncommon and very localised. One of the reasons for the decline of this shrub is the excessive strimming of the forest tracks. Being totally dependent on this shrub, this beautiful butterfly is very vulnerable. Therefore, it is essential to pay attention to its safeguard. Currently, the Iolus blue is represented at a national level for threatened species. The future of the Iolus blue would be less under threat if the bladder senna was to be protected in the places where populations of the Iolus blue exist. <laughs>